and we did split up the list and we did make the calls to see um, who might be available to, to serve and looking down the list um, I want to be very careful that um, how we approach this and make sure that um, anybody that we take that um, to some degree they don't have a free bias. So, yeah, you're uh, right. That's why we eliminated some um, and they weren't called. Because well, I didn't bias. think we had really eliminated. We just, you know, there was some discussion. I know there's um, some on the list they were already crossed out, and I, um, you know, I. I not sure whether or not they should or they shouldn't and that's you know we can go down the list for those people probably to start off with like mr roy said and um those that are agreeable to serve and then we can have a discussion but i i think that um in order to, to make sure that it isn't perceived that this is tainted that you know, we have some ground rules, and that was the only thing that I was thinking about with regard to it. So what are your ground rules? Well, all these people that are on the list, two of them I never was able to get a hold of. There was never any answer, okay, okay at, at those two. There are two of them that are taken off, that, that were already crossed off on my list to begin with. Um, and I, I guess I, you know, we're going to discuss, or we're going to decide who's in that number that we're going to be able to either, is that what you're proposing, Butch, to um, yeah, write well, each name on on the list? Yeah, well, I know who called and who said yes and who said no. Okay. So. Okay, well, who said no? Why don't we start from the top? You have the list. Henry Rollins was a no. We crossed off Robert Danos. Okay. I spoke to Bob Normando, and he said he would be willing to serve if right. asked. Right. Um, Mr. Bergeron, I was never able to uh, get hold of him. So he becomes a no. Mr. Longfellow said he would be. And he's not. There's. I was never able to get a hold of him. How did you get a hold of him? I, I didn't get get a hold of him. I happened to have seen him, and I no. asked him if his phone number had changed. Oh no! wonder I kept getting telephone numbers. They haven't. Sure. They haven't changed it. They haven't changed his phone number, but his phone number did uh, change. And I just asked him in a general. He still he's, can't serve anyway. Okay. Well, for what reason? For obvious reasons. Okay. Part of, you know. Okay. No. Um, 
Did David Bernard, Bernard said he was a no. No. Oh, okay. John Proctor said yes. Okay. Wendy Branch does not live. She she yeah. couldn't even serve. Right. John Riley said yes. Okay. John Rappel. There was other issues there. Fred Bishop said yes, but that probably it should be crossed off for obvious reasons. Oh, okay. I did speak with Bill Lyons, and Bill Lyons said yep. that phone number ended up being his uh, work number. <laughs> oh, it was? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bill was okay with it. Michelle Murdoch, I did not, was unable to get a hold of. Bridget Byron, we crossed off. Judy Hess was a yes. Yeah. Three for Norman Doe. Two for Bill Lyons. And two for John Parker. So, in theory, you could make three out of that by majority vote. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have a problem with that? Say that again. Norman Doe. It would. Norman Doe had three, yep. John Parker had two, and Bill Lyons had two. two.
acabó hoy. Se tiró de la mano. Do we have to follow the same uh, guidelines that you do for for regular grievances as far as the dates that you have to meet and whatnot? Yes, I think so. Just make sure that you're following. Right. right. Well, that's why you had to have this meeting today because you couldn't wait till the next meeting. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. No, what I'm saying, uh, which is bringing up the fact that uh, Jim Higgins is is away. Yeah. I think the last the step is one is so many days for the commission to decide what it's going to do when the commission has decided that it's going to. I think it all lays on us to a point. Oh, I don't have any problem with that, well, that we've done that, but I mean, right. making sure that we right. meet those uh, what guidelines. What I understood from, from Attorney Higgins was once you made your, your replacement appointments, then uh, he would be notified of, of the names you people would decide if he was going to meet with the replacement board to lay out to them what their duties are and that would work. Um, and then, then the dates would be set, starting to set up mutually between people in the union. He probably should meet with them just to give them a refresher course. Get through this, but they should find out what Jim's available dates are. Well, actually, if I remember, Henry, you were going to call him after the yeah. meeting, so for the contract. Yeah. But I think you were also going to give him the names. Yeah. So, all right, you want to do that, please? All right. Old business CIP program. Yeah. Um, Joy and I met with the finance director, talked about the CIP program. Um, I would recommend that we continue with our normal uh, radio communications development program. Um, and if that's okay with the board, I will, I will we'll get that paperwork done this week. Um, also talked about the um, impact fees we had talked about, which kind of relate to the CIP. We are going to be sending, um, on, on the CIP side, is we don't know what town council attorney will say about the use of the impact fees toward the um, radio system for the cruisers. Mm -hmm. um, what finance suggested was that we um, start that process off, which I was going to explain in a minute here, and also put in a CIP for that item. Yeah, but I don't, CIP is long term. I, I, I don't want to wait long term to get those activated. Well, that, that's that's what I have to hear from you guys. I, I put the CIP together, so if you if you want the communications one as usual, that's fine, and I'll, I'll do that as, as usual. I think some of it borders on the fact that there are some questions that linger with regard to, first of all, um, the use of CIP. And as uh, the chief spoke, we sat down with uh, Christine, the financial uh, person for the town, and uh, she understood um, where the commission was coming from and what the chief explained to her. However, uh, she wanted to be certain about this. And she felt that the query needed to be um, given to Bart Mayer because he does all the work with regard to uh, interpreting the law with regard to impact fees, and that's what she wanted to be. She wanted to be clear about and now. And there was two, just like there was at the um, deliberative session. There are two issues there. There's the issue of what applies to growth that's over and above what the town should have. And then there is an issue um, with regard to upgrading what, what the department feels that it needs. And those need to be understood. And that's where she had a little bit of a, a quandary. I think I know the way you're going. But that you want to do it in a timely fashion. Right. The CIP would not, well, what she was saying is you could do it as a two year program. If you want it quicker than that, then we still have to wait to find out if we can use any impact fee money at all we can't or we can use only a percentage of it and you don't want to do a CIP even over a couple of years, then your only other option is to do either put it in the budget or do a warrant article this year. There you go. Again, that's up to you guys to let me know. If you want to even attempt to put it as a as a CIP item that can be pulled back out because it's going to take a little bit of time to get an answer from from BART or if you don't want to even do a CIP even as a two year CIP program and you want to um, and you want to do it as a one up. The other thing to remember is until I get an answer back from BART, we will not know if that pro if that um, project meets the CIP requirements of fifty thousand dollars. So Christine's thought was
put the paperwork in. If you find out you can use the impact fees, great. If you find out you can use the impact fees, but your project will be less than 50,000, it won't be a CIP anyway, but you could pull the CIP paperwork back, but we can't submit it later on. So that was her suggestion. If you wanted to even attempt that one avenue. If not, then we still go forward with BART. We still go forward with, we're getting our numbers together. And depending on what BART says, that either the whole amount or the difference would have to be either put into our budget or put into a warrant article. Right. Well, were you thinking it's up, it's up the to budget you guys or a warrant article to, to frame it? I would go with a warrant article because I, I don't think it belongs in the budget because it's something new. But I think if you're going to put something in the CIP, you might as well put it for replacing those laptops, which are going to be out of date if you CIP the upgrades to them. Well, that's why, that's why you, have to, makes no you have to let me know which way you want me to go with it. I, I thought it had to be a warrant article. Or should be a war article. I'm sorry if we can't do it under the um, impact fees. Well, you may be able to do a percentage under the impact okay. fees. Right. Right, and that's fine right. too. The difference but would be a, either a one article, or the difference would be a CIP. But and, and the impact fee was part of the funding for it. That's right. where that discussion uh, came up. You know yes, that it was only be, right. not only funded through uh, a tax impact. You know. So I plan to do the CIP for the communications if everybody's all Yeah, that I'm, that I'm for. So the only other potential one was how you may want to how you want to approach the uh, the computer system. Do mm -hmm. you want to do it as a, throw that in there, and then we can always pull it back out, or do you want to not and go with the issue of the impact fee and or whatever warrant out? I had another I had another question about this, and perhaps my memory doesn't serve me correctly, but. I thought I recalled that a while back that the town was um, contemplating having one system throughout the whole community, okay? And that way there, things would be... That's not the same as what they use in the cruisers. That's still something separate. It's, it's still something yeah, separate. That's, you, so it's well, you, you're both correct. Yes, you're correct, and that's for the, the business end of oh, it. Oh, just for the this business? Our, this, okay. This okay. back to the cars is still part of the in-house system we talked about last week. That's the processing stuff they'll still need. Oh, okay. So... Okay, so if the town were to do that, the town would... That wouldn't... We haven't done anything. No, but I mean, with the, what was the communication? Yeah, that's, that's staying the way it is. That's not going to change. What do you want to do with the laptops? Do you want to, I mean, the uh, upgrades to the laptops, do you want to put it in a CIP or warrant article? <coughs> or impact? Well... Impacts the is still going to be determined. It's going to change whatever answer we it's get. It's the funding that. mechanism. Right. Mm -hmm. I think the Warren article because it not only uh, frames it, but I think you got to explain to the voters exactly what the department has in mind with regard to. Uh, Absolutely, I agree. That it's not just another line in the budget. So no. No, it's specific. So you can right. go with a Warren article for that based on back what we hear from Byer. And then, so no CIP for that item. That's my vote. You get whatever you want. So, okay. Okay. Do you need a motion to yeah, that effect? I think you need a motion that you want yeah. to make a warrant article out of it. Okay, I'll make the motion. Well, I, uh, if, I, if I can, I think you need to, to make a motion to, to put forward Well, I need two, two separate motions. Right. Right. Okay, I'll make a, a motion to put forth the CIP for the uh, upgrading of the uh, account? The well, the title's right on the top there. Emergency Radio Communication yeah. System Development Fund. We go forward with that. Oh, and sorry. Then... Oops. No, I'll stop right there. All right, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then, um, secondly, to uh, go forward with the, um, as a warrant article for the computer, it's called an upgrade? I don't know how else to word it. Um, actually, I, actually, you know what? I don't think you need to make that motion right now okay, I'll because, withdraw we're gonna, because we're going to um, we send still have a letter work. off to Bart Mayor. Well, so. And we also, she would need exact dollar figures. Or right, so, we're so actually, actually you actually don't need to do that. You can't do anything that could, yeah, okay. would be too open. Yeah. You've got plenty of time. Still so we'll need the um, range, right, that's short range of right. that cost. Right. All right. And, and a lot other, of it depends also, excuse me, on what Bart says the impact fee. For example, if he said the whole impact fee line could be used for that, for this project, then you may not even have to do a warrant on it, mm -hmm. depending on the cost. 
Right. And once you get done with uh, BART, I would also suggest that you uh, contact the Department of Revenue Administration to make sure that that Warren article is to their liking. That's not us. That's finance. That's finance. Yep. I will do that. Yep. Somebody will do that yep. because I don't want to yep. see us the after the fact in. find out yep. that it's not written correctly. And I guess yeah, that, the town at, always has them all recall um, review. At that meeting, we were told to be very, very yep. careful not to, you know, to make sure yep. that those well, articles are them all forward okay. prior, prior to the dates. All right, their account. Um, if that we talked about their account, we did talk to Christine about that. As remember, we talked at our last meeting about the, um, the three options that she gave you on the their account. Um, in talking to her and explaining a little bit more and, and some discussion, um, she suggested that, um, which is what her preference was on this um, three options she gave you, which would be to spend the money on their related items, which was what the original purpose was um, of the of that account, and that we continue with the original purpose um, as needed. When that account is depleted, then the town will rename the account, and probably it'll be something like community services or something like that. So it's not as restrictive as the name now. So if um, so with the three options she gave you at the last meeting, in talking to her, she still believes that option number two um, would be fine because we would be right in line with what the original intent was. So if that's okay with the community. And I think that was the most important part, okay. that we stay the within the intent of what it was intended for. Make a motion that we follow Christine's advice. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 I think the last item I had is the um, council had asked if myself and the full commission could meet with them on October 14th in a non-public at the end of their meeting. And I didn't want to wait till the next meeting to hit you with that date. So actually that next meeting would be after that date. So I don't know if October 14th it would be at the end of the meeting. I don't know how long their meeting would be prior to that, but they would know that obviously we'd be there for that. And that would take a little bit of time. Everyone make it. Yes. Okay. As it stands now, yeah. Okay. No we'll tell you yes. Um, oh, and one last thing is I gave you a memo under our, under our other business, if you will, um, from my Captain Cilio on vacation time. Um, as of the last meeting, we discussed not this issue, but another employee issue, uh, another employee. Um, and his anniversary is coming up, and we thought we'd be able to take care of this, but um, looks like we're not going to. So I. See if you had any problem with this, and then if you approve it, I'll take care of it like, like the policy states. I don't have a problem with it. Do we need a motion? You probably should. Just a, one question with regard to this. Does this, um, this time that he would um, be getting um, uh, the reimbursement for, is this the same as what's written in the contract? Or the they contract has nothing to do with it. No, I know it has nothing to do with them, and I just wondered whether or not... In the contract, the people that have a contract, they use it or lose it. Right, but I didn't know how, with regard to someone who is a captain, how you determine whether or not, uh, you know, what guidelines to use. Do you use guidelines that apply to, say, the other uh, town employees, or this is as they come up? As they come up, and we look, we look at what the, um, we look at the reason for it. Um, as we go through the year and determine if it's a valid reason to bring it to the commission level or not. I certainly don't have any problem with it, but I think uh, for consistency's sake uh, that we either look to the town or we have some guidelines with regard to that. So that would be my right. So I would, I would certainly be in favor of it. But. We do have guidelines, though. They have to prove that they could not take it. So where are those written? That, that's, that's the commission directive to me to monitor my people and what's happening. I mean, when but is it written someplace? It'd be the commission minutes from a number of oh, years ago. Okay. This was discussed. Actually, probably when you go back to the what I gave you at the last meeting, which was the remember those minutes. Yeah. That while that the minutes were brief, that was the meeting where it was discussed how this process would work. Right. And that's what I gave you last last meeting. We discussed at that meeting how that would work, and then you saw the vote on how that would uh, on the process. Right, and I and I can appreciate that, but like I say, in order 
to make sure that we're treating people fairly who are outside the contract, then I understand that the contract speaks, and I did read the contract, speaks uh, quite clearly about um, what you can and can't do with regard to this, but I am looking to see how you treated others. Okay. And if he tells me their guidelines, I'll go back and, and look, but I, I just think for the sake of consistency and fairness that that's the way it should be. Clarification here. I guess we missed the first part of this whole. What's what's transpiring here to require a replacement of a panel? Is, it, is this a panel that's overlooking the commission, or is this what is this? No, we don't know what's happening. Go ahead. Well, what's happening is, as as you know, Officer Defina was fired yep. by a majority of this board. Okay. Officer Defina, per the collective bargaining agreement, has filed the grievance. Okay. The way the grievances normally go, they go up through the chain of command and ultimately to the commission. Since the commission is the board that took the action, it would not be proper for them now to, to hear the grievance. So somebody else has to hear the grievance. So the proper process is these three commissioners step down, they, report, they appoint a replacement board of prior commissioners who will hear the grievance in place of them. Normally, if we have a, a personnel issue or whatever along those lines, it comes up where we've taken action or we're recommending action, and the board sits as a judicial board and makes a decision. In this particular case, um, because of the action they took and the knowledge they have, they can't sit as a judicial board. So that's why. So it's a replacement just to handle the grievance from Officer Defina for his termination. That replacement board will be the board that sits, as the commission said earlier this spring, they will make a decision if the commission, if the decision um, is that Austin Defeater is, re is returned to the job, he's returned to the job, if it's that he is not, then the union through Austin Defeater would file for arbitration as, as is the normal step. So it's just for this one, this one temporary appellate commission kind of thing. Yes. Same as if you had, if you will, if you had the council that had taken an action against the administrator, and the administrator fought it. it you can't have the same, you, know, you can't have a judge make, be involved at the ground level and then judge what they just did. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Has grievance hearing be open at Officer Tina's request? Or yes, that's up to the All right, enough with the public input. And, uh, motion to adjourn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have other business? I have other business only because I want to ask the question, when we have items for the agenda, I can call you and ask you, or I call Francine, or I call the chief, because oh, I think you. what's happening is, in order that, that um, we're able to um, get to the business that, you know, um, we're here to speak about, that um, we have to follow up. And I see, and I appreciate uh, the uh, follow-up with regard to a couple of things here with regard to um, neighborhood watch groups. I want to make sure that that'll be discussed at the next commission. That's meeting. on that's the FYI. agenda for the next meeting. Uh, I will make sure that's on. Okay. Unless you have something to add that's out of place. The well, not agenda. not. I'm not going to say out of place because that's not fair to, to well, say I, that. Well, how um, do you want to board it? But I think we discussed at uh, a couple of the meetings that we would put into place some rules and regulations 
how to conduct ourselves at, the, at these meetings, and there were a number of them under that. Um, the other thing, um, with regard to if we're giving uh, the chief directives, that whether or not we need, we should have a motion with regard to that, and there are several things like that that I, I want to make sure, but you're telling me that this is going to be on the agenda next time? Good. My, my, if I got my understanding from the last meeting was any commissioner that wants to add something to the agenda would call for of scenes. It would get added to the agenda automatically, and then when the agenda comes out, on the, you get either the package of Thursday or Friday before the meeting, you would all have, then have a chance to review it. Okay. And, and one other thing that goes back to the rules and regulations, I think um, at some point there was some discussion or a concern about the length of sometimes the public input was going, and I didn't know whether or not we had an established rule whether or not it was three minutes, five minutes, or whether, you know, how this goes. And in an attempt to be uh, fair to everyone, I think that we should uh, decide whether or not it's three or five minutes. Well, if you agree, and, the agenda and says it's five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. But I think that we should adhere to that and uh, make we sure. Have, but I think, if I can, in the last meeting, didn't you have the discussion that you were going to have that as a next discussion at your next meeting? Right, that's why I'm asking, because right. I want to make sure that it's on the agenda for... Right, anything, the, my understanding is anything any commissioner wants on the agenda, along with whatever business I have to bring forward to the agenda, goes to Francine, and it'll all get added right. to the agenda. Okay. And then when we get to those items, if it's not an item that I brought up and, and one of you has put on the agenda, then... Um, then you speak to it and then we'll go from So I guess I, I misunderstood. So next next time, the meeting, the CIP and all that stuff will be placed on the agenda. Um, C, no, well, the CIP won't at this point because you but, decided to Okay, today. but the, the Warren article and all that stuff, will it be placed on the yes, agenda? Well, yes. That yes, they because, are things that are that Right, because those on. are things that I'm working on. Okay. But if you people have things you're, you want to bring up or you're maybe working on, maybe, for example, um, Henry's a liaison for right. the contract. Maybe and that was the that last Henry thing. Henry has to bring to all of you in the next meeting. It's going to be up to Henry to call, to call Francine and say, put on the agenda, I don't know, union negotiation update or question or whatever. Right. Well, I, I guess that that's where I was going with this because um, Butch, and I don't mean to be disrespectful to you by calling you Butch because I've known you all a lot of years that way. Um, had asked if we would go through the uh, contract and if there was any, any language, and I didn't know how you wanted to approach that, whether or not we were going to do it at this meeting. Not this meeting. Okay. But you need it for? He, he just wanted, because he's going on vacation, I guess he was going to, if we had anything pressing or anything that he might look at while he was on vacation. But there's, there's going to be plenty of time because we have. Okay. Well, well, just you know, maybe along the same lines, what, what the staff has done is I've given the staff a deadline of this coming Wednesday morning. And all the staff that would normally have input as far as ideas um, will be giving us all the ideas. And then we will give those to Jim. And maybe you, I'm just suggesting, maybe you all want to do the same. So you may initially not have to discuss that among yourselves. If you've all looked at the contract or look at the contract, and from all your different individual experiences, see if there's an area that you have a question on or something you want to see in the contract or something you want to see taken out. I thought, I think Jim was looking for a master list of potential issues. So if you want to wait till you can all discuss it, that's okay. If you want to do it individually, that's how we're doing it because we think that's what's going to get the most ideas into the mix for Jim to have something to begin with. I guess I was basing you, myself on my prior experience that um, in another lifetime that the, the superintendent at that time would uh, bring forth to the board um, concerns or issues that had risen over the life of the contract and we would discuss them. The board would itself individually go through the contract and if there were areas, okay, that we would discuss them and then we would formulate our proposal from there. Okay. That's, that's another method of doing it. That's, that's not the method that has been done 
in the past year because because the proposal so that's going to have to be put forward we're going to have to agree upon absolutely you know it right. can't be one here and one there it absolutely. has to be something that we agree upon right. and i believe it was you butch who said that you only have up what is it after the ground rules have been set only three meetings yeah but sometimes uh, right now we have three meetings but it, we all seem to add some eventually we, we, we all have. As we need. Right, I, I can appreciate that if the other side is willing. So you have plenty of time. Okay, as long to, as we're going to. Okay. Your, your well, I, 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 it would help if the chief or whoever he has as supervisors, if there were issues that have that have happened over the course of the contract. Right. Know. Well, we're coming up with a list of what we normally okay. what we normally do is that we submit to Jim. And, and obviously Henry's on the gets a copy of it, um, and then anything that the board has, and then from there that gets compiled, and then you you all get that. So you see not only something you may have an interest in, something anybody else does, anything anything that we have at, at that same time in that master thing, rather than having a. But do we do we vote on the proposal that we're going to send forward? Ultimately, you're going to vote on the contract. The, the, the proposal, yeah, the proposal that we're no. going to send. Oh. No, not usually. It's not. A, it's what it, what it is is we we usually tell the attorney the issues that areas that we've seen issues or language we might want to add. Sometimes we agree with the union on on the language or whatever. So we just give him all the ideas so he has an idea of what he's working with. But I mean, you can do whatever way. Well, I'm not saying it should be done one way or the other, but I just, I just think that we all need to talk about if you have concerns of things that have arisen in the contract, and that we need to discuss them, and that from there we need to put forth. Well, I mean, the, the other option is, is the commission could have a meeting with all the staff, and you could discuss it all then. I don't know. Um, we haven't done that in the past only because the commission has pretty much stayed on the commission side of the money and the and the other things and on the operational side has stayed with the staff. You had indicated to him you had some verbiage questions or Yes, I did. I, I, I so did. He just wanted to know what they were. Okay. Yeah, but there's no point I mean, yeah, but he can he can have what my concerns were with regard to the language in the contract, but if if this commission and the chief is not interested in in um, looking at it or has a problem to change it or whatever, that's you know all for naught, and that's why I think we got to discuss it at we some point. Discuss it at the next meeting. I think we have to try to get it all together okay. from all areas. We would have to first put it because into the non-public because it's an ongoing union negotiation. Non-meeting. If we're meeting with the the. Uh, well, you wouldn't even, right, well, if you met with them, but you wouldn't even have to meet with them oh, okay. initially. You could okay. all we don't meet with them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think it's okay. just a discussion well, that's fine. Us, if, we can, if we can wait, that's fine. Well, I think the reason, too, we've done it that way is, for example, the um, something may come from the, the, the patrol lieutenant of an issue, and we can all discuss it, um, and that, that briefs you, if you will, but, but the reality of you know, if the commission wants to get involved in how we do our scheduling and all that. No, it had nothing to do with no, that. No, but that's what I'm saying. So, so, right. All right, well, let's, just, let's put it on the agenda on. in the non public, public next meeting. <coughs> in the meantime, if anybody, if, if you want, if you have individual items, get them to us because I'll be doing the same to Jim from us. Okay. And again, at that point, just so you know, we're not looking at language, we're just looking at subject matter, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then once, once we usually have all that together, then the um, Commissioner Roy would bring that back to you guys because it is your contract, if you will. And then you start looking at the issues and deciding, well, that's we want that in there, we don't want that in there. The language comes last as far as how it's written. Right now, we're just looking at the at issues. The language comes last, but the language um, is 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 subject to you know the. Uh, the bargaining that that goes on I mean some of it may be in conjunction with um, you know what the increases that are being offered and whatnot it's you know one is not um, you know separated out from the other right but usually we start with the issue first before getting right. down to the language and if it's an issue that you're not interested in right 
and they are, then then we right. don't worry right. about. Let's discuss this at the next meeting. Yeah. But again, if you want to call in anything, you know, ideas up for what it was. I I did go for it, and I'll speak to what uh, Mr. Ward. Thank you. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. Motion adjourned. Second. All in favor? Aye.